My name is Anna White. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a mudroom hatch. It matches the mudroom base that I built last week and posted a video on. Just like the base, you don't need a lot of tools and you don't need a lot of carpentry knowledge to get professional looking results. This entire system cost about $600 and we were able to complete it in about two days. The link for the plans are in the description. Keep watching for the video tutorial. Last week, my husband and I tackled the base for this mudroom and it cost about $150 to build. So you need more than just the carcass though to make this hutch, you need what I call base supports. Notice how I always hold the pocket hole slightly off center to the right um, and I consistently do that. Um, even when I flip it around. This means when I go to put the project together, the pocket holes are slightly staggered always to one side, and so the screws don't intersect. And there's all the pocket holes on the one by threes. So uh, we really like the pocket hole method just because everything's hidden and very precise, but certainly there are many other ways of joining and you don't have to use a pocket hole jig, um, but we like it because it's a precise and inexpensive system. So the shelves, um, we're just going to put them in. One thing to think about is when you're doing a narrow spot like we did, make sure you go no less than six inches because it'll be really difficult to reach your drill in there. So the way we did this is in two sections. Uh, this is a gigantic project. It is very cumbersome. The Putting it together isn't necessarily hard, but dealing with just the the giant bulky size of it and orientating it and moving it is is a lot. So um, one of the things you can do, you know, we have two people working on this and um, my husband um, is such a good sport at doing a lot of the heavy lifting. But if you don't have that, what you could do is build it in two or three sections and then, you know, you'll end up with an extra side or two in there. But you, you won't end up in a situation like this where you're trying to pick it up. Another thing you can do is build it in place. Um, we didn't want to do that because we wanted all the pocket holes to be on the back and it to you know come out very square and uh, looking great. But since it does get attached eventually to the wall with screws, it becomes very sturdy and um, a, you know it's basically a permanent fixture in your house. So to finish out the front edges, we're gonna use one by twos and we just nail and, and glue those to the top. And um, I like to measure and cut as I go just to get a really nice finished built-in look. So we're just checking to make sure everything fits perfect before we glue and nail it all off. Um, and these are locally harvested spruce boards that we get from a local mill. They're really nice. Um, I would definitely recommend a good face frame material for the fronts. All right, so this is where the real work starts. It took us um, the better part of a day just to paint this uh, project. It took us about two different coats and we used, um, I found like the, the deepest neutral black that I could and then I went one shade lighter in a semi-gloss and I think it turned out fantastic. We added the hooks in. Um, the hooks cost about $100, um, so bringing the grand total of this project to about $600. guys this build i'm not going to say was easy but it's definitely worth it the plans are linked in the description we appreciate you guys watching and uh, leave in the comments what you think of this project and what kind of projects you'd like to see in the future thank you again we'll see you next monday